Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast live from Highline Community College, episode 102. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel here in the office of Mike. Excel is fun. Gervin. This is 102. Three. 103. Where, then where does the time go? It's late. Last week was 102. I feel like I've been here for six weeks. Oh, no, it's I great. The, I wear the same shirt every time. That's great. We've been having lots of fun. <laughs> Misa One at YouTube has a list. These are all the projects that are done. And uh, she needs to get a column over here of which projects are not done. So, so, I'm going to do uh, equal if is NA VLOOKUP the row of A1, which is the geekiest way of putting in the number one. Over in this table here, press F4, comma, 1, comma, false. Realize I could have done that with a match, but it's too late. I've already typed the VLOOKUP. If that is NA, that means that it's missing. We actually need that number, so row of A1. Otherwise, we want quote, quote. And we'll copy it down, 12 cells. So we're missing 3, 8, and 11. Now, we want to get that in a nice little column, so check this equals small. The small of that column, comma, row of A1. Copy that down. Oh, okay, how about equal if error? That whole thing, just give me quote, quote. There we go. So later on, if two is missing, it shows up in the list. Isn't that sweet? There you go. All right, Mike. Wow, that's going to be a lot. A lot simpler than what I do. All right, so I'm going to take this. Uh, here's some numbers here, and I'm going to try and do it in single formula, copy down, and have those numbers pop out. I need to, in essence, compare these numbers in a column to another column of numbers, but with all the numbers. So it should be 1 to 12. I'm going to build those numbers inside of a formula using row, and then indirect, in text, 1 colon. Uh, in double quotes, ampersand, then I'm going to say max, the max of whatever's in here. Now what this will do is this will create um, 1 to 12, indirect will create it as a text reference and row will convert the text reference to uh, a reference and row will give me the number, so I'd hit, hit F9. Ah, there's my numbers 1 to 12, I need to match these against those, so Control Z. I'm going to copy this little piece right here. Now I'm going to match. I'm going to use the match function. I'm going to say, hey, look up value. Yeah, that's an array 1 to 12. I'm going to say, are any of those numbers over here? Comma 0, close parentheses. If I highlight this and hit F9, I get a bunch of NAs. And the NAs are what I want, 1, 2, NA. So I'm going to Control Z and say, is NA. That gives me some trues and falses. Now I'm going to put this inside the small. And I'm going to say inside the small, I'm going to say if. And that is an A tells me a true where the number is supposed to be. If, logical test comma, and now I'm going to say just this part right here. That's hard to see. It's the green one. This is the part that gives me 1 to 12. This whole is an A whatever gives me the trues where there should be a, a number. And then I'm going to paste that. Close parentheses on the if. And then I'm going to say, that's the array, comma. And then I'm in cell C1. So I'm going to type C dollar sign 1 colon C1. I can already see I have a semicolon. All right, and then there I close that off. Control Shift Enter. Doesn't look like it's working. There's a bunch of zeros. They are missing zeros. No one's done Project Zero yet. They forgot about Project Zero. <laughs> they forgot a lot. They really, they really want that one a lot. Um. Oh, look at that. I typed too oh. many. Commas, Control Shift Enter, and then um, 
that's not it either. Oh, look at that. So we better put some dollar signs. The hazards of uh, shooting videos late at night. Control, oh, cross my fingers. Control, shift, enter. And then we say uh, if error, right? Control, shift, enter, and then. Okay, here's what I don't understand, and you're gonna help me out here. Okay. Finally, you had a nice array formula, and then you wrap an if error on that, which is not an array formula. How does it know that the if error is not an array and everything on the inside is an array? How does it know that? Uh, you should um, write a book about that. No, uh, because small is delivering a single value here, but there, there's certain parts, it's an argument thing, so. Uh, so small is down to a single value. Small single, but down to single value, but you know, equals index. If you put an array right there, or in some products, some product, that those arguments understand arrays and don't need control shift enter. But if you do equals if, that right that argument right there only accepts a single value. If you put an array in there, no matter what, it's going to require control shift enter. I, it, you know, Microsoft Functions kind of are inconsistent sometimes, but as far as I can tell, it comes down to an arguments in a function. Something like that. All right. All right. Uh, throw it back to Mr. Okay, so. there you go. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. All right.